for tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you shapes and set operations. Now, first thing to do, just quickly create a shape, and I'm just going to create a very basic shape. Of course, there's other shapes you can use, custom shapes, etc., stars, and that sort of thing. Right, first one, shape, and that's that shape up here to make certain it's uh, created as a shape. Now, if you want to actually, you can duplicate this shape, this uh, ellipse or circle, and just drag that down. So you'll see over here in the layers, you've got two shapes now, and you can just quickly select both, just drag over both those, and you can just see now they're both selected over here. And then what you can do, you can just go to a layer, and I always find this, to be honest, be the easiest way of doing it, is to say like unite shapes, which would obviously join those two together, but subtract front shape. So just then, and what's happens, you can just see the shape is now gone. Right, one thing I always do, once I've actually done one of the operations, you'll notice you've got this bounding box, and it actually stretches out quite a way. And obviously, because the shape is still really there, so if you don't want to actually go any further, and like I say, sometimes these set operations become so complex that the design you get sometimes isn't what you expect. So I was just quickly go and select the ellipse tool, circle tool, and then merge shape components. Just select that. And now you could actually set that to be don't show again. I'm doing this for obviously for the video purposes that just to say, yes, continue. I don't want it as a live shape anymore. And you've got that design there. Now, you can hold the Alt down again. You can then obviously just create that. So you've got two shapes again. Two shapes, obviously created with the uh, thing. Now, you can again drag over both those. And you can select. So that's that selected. And then you can go to Layer and Combine Shapes. And I'm going to Unite now. So I've united the shapes. Again, I'm just going to make it easier for myself. Go to the Ellipse Tool, Circle Tool, and just merge shape components. Now, if you don't want the background, you can of course quickly get rid of the background, just click there and delete. So you've got a transparent background now with those designs. Now you can resize them of course. Maybe at this point you decide, right, what I want to do is actually I want this little shape here, but with a circle. So I'm just gonna create a circle and I'm just gonna go over that to those two, but I'm gonna just create that bit in the center and the so just going to select those and now go to layer and combine shapes and unite shapes that overlap. See what you mean? You get that suddenly removed, that's removed. You just get that nice circle there, circle there, and that dividing point just between the two. And again, at this point, if you're not going to do any more, you don't want to go too far with the operations. Otherwise, it just sometimes again doesn't. So it's merge shape components. Okay, yes, again, like I say, you can always click there to don't show this again. Yes, so, oops. right, so now all I've got is this. But again, I can then just drag that out and I can create multiple copies of this. Maybe down there and create another one there. Okay, so I can select all those. And again, I can go to now layer and combine shapes and unite shapes. Again, just quickly go over here, just select that again, or one of the other tools, doesn't matter, and merge shape components. So it's all, see, becomes one shape. Now what you can do, if you want to say the final operation, there's four operations you can do, you can actually select the whole, I'm just gonna create a quick circle over the most of it, and then I'm gonna select all of those, and now go to layer and combine shapes, and subtract shapes, over that and you'll suddenly see you've ended up with sort of the cut out you've got the circle there and you've got the bits left over there that weren't past that original circle so there you have it quick run through and again of course just quickly go to there and you can just we've got other tools obviously there i'm just selecting that make merge shape components again yes right and that's basically it and of course you can continue on with another design you can just add more and more if you want to go for really complex shapes and again select all of those and again you could do over here as well of course and then just go to layer and combine shapes and unite shapes again so it all becomes one shape of course which you can resize and again 
you'll see that it's still not merged. So just quickly go to the ellipse tool again and merge shape components and it's all then one shape. And then now of course you can apply effects, styles, whatever. Of course you could do that beforehand as well. But I'm just going to select one and maybe red gel or and so on and so on. Anyway, that's a quick run through of the set operations you can do. And there's a whole range of different shapes you can create. Personally, I have to say I use Illustrator more than often Photoshop, but certainly Photoshop has got some pretty decent ways of creating some unusual shapes just by combining them with the set operations. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.